What's going on guys? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another video for you guys today. We've said games are coming thick and fast and I'm here with Tottenham. You've got to know this even better than we do. Every day. Exactly. We're going to be previewing the Chelsea versus Tottenham game. Today or tomorrow, I don't know, it depends on whenever I upload this video. But guys, as you know, before I start this video, I always tell you, if you guys haven't done so already, smash that like button, press the subscribe button as well, and turn it from red to blue, and press the bell notification button as well, to be the first guy to know whenever we release any new content on this channel. Also, as well, check out We Are Tottenham TV yeah, as well. like, subscribe, if there's any Tottenham fans watching, although I highly doubt highly it. Highly doubt it, yeah. But if, there are any, or if you are just interested uh, in, in checking out how we're getting on, We Are Tottenham TV on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, we've just hit the 50k, help us get to 100, uh, would be massively appreciated and obviously like and subscribe for my boy Lewis here despite being a Chelsea fan. Yeah, check them out as well guys and we are Tottenham TV, you're all blessed guys. Tottenham fans but we know no one's perfect, just check them out for the positives in it. But yeah, we'll go into Chelsea v Spurs. Spurs I'd, v Chelsea technically. Yeah, Spurs v Chelsea, I forgot we're the away team for this one. Um, How are you guys feeling for this? Because we were speaking about this before and... Does this game even matter that much to you guys in the grand scheme of things, even though it's a London yeah. derby? I mean, it's difficult. Obviously, Spurs-Chelsea always matters, no matter, no matter what, what the occasion is. Unfortunately, because of the way the, the Carabao Cup and the FA and the people at the top have decided to schedule this, it, it's sort of made it a game that we can't prioritise, which is, a well, firstly, it's a shame. And secondly, mm. it's a shame for the fact that it's a dark, massive London derby. And it's yep. a shame for the fact that it's a cup game and you know everyone knows our record recently in recent years of trophies it's not really great and this is a good opportunity to win one and to be honest it's sort of as 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 jose has said in all his press conferences it's it's, it's a problem and it's not really it's essentially not fair and you look at when the next round of this cup is it's not until the week before christmas is it so why could they not have rescheduled this game it's not where we in the it, next wait, three months what? so they you've got the the round today you don't have another the next round till the mid December. Mid December. Okay, you lot have been shagged. So we've been absolutely been so shafted shagged. there, um, and obviously, like I said, it's a, it's just a massive shame. It's a great opportunity for to see sort of the spur, or would have been a great opportunity to see some of the fringe players at both clubs try and make a, a stake uh, for their place in the first team. And obviously, last year you you deservedly beat us a couple of times, and it could have been an opportunity to get some revenge. And if I'm being honest, it doesn't look like it's going to go that way. So. I, I do say that, but I think I think that's kind of put a bit more pressure on us because I'm looking at this game as we have to win. We can't lose. For the sake of you lot, first off, it's a London derby. It's Jose's, Jose still needs to get that win over Frank Lampard and get a win for Spurs as a Chelsea manager because I think that's a big turning point for him. Yeah. But it's not going to happen in this game. I, do you think Jose is going to try and prioritise this match with a little bit of bragging rights well, in mind. I think he actually came out and said, look, he said, what do you want me to do? We've got a massive game on Thursday against Maccabi Haifa, albeit it's a Europa League playoff, but the money you get for getting into the group stage uh, and, and the fact that you want to be in Europe at the end of the day, you'd rather be in Europe than be in the Carabao yeah. Cup, no matter what part, what, what European competition it but is. But you guys also need a trophy. But we also what need matters a more to you guys? I would rather win the Europa League than the uh, Carabao Cup, yeah. obviously. I think you would say the same yeah. if, it was, if it was Chelsea. And So I don't blame him for prioritising Thursday. We, we, it would also be a little bit embarrassing to lose or, to lose to in the Europa League playoffs. Yeah, you lot had some scares yeah, in the qualifiers, I can't lie. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's just, it's just disappointing that, that, that we have to... I mean, at the end of the day, footballers are human beings. You physically cannot play... Thursday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. And mm -hmm. you also forget we have to go to Old Trafford on Sunday. It's not like we've got... You're no United on Sunday as well. Yeah, no disrespect to some okay. of the other teams. It's not like we've got a lower league, Premier League side to play on Sunday. We have to go to Old Trafford. So... Fucking doesn't, hell. It doesn't you lot get have easy. it rough. Okay. Yeah. Um, like so who do you think is going to start? It's your fault we've got it rough because you lot couldn't beat Arsenal in the FA Cup. Oh, don't thing. remind me. It's not our fault. It's Anthony Taylor's fault. No, it's your fault. You T lot couldn't beat 12 v 10. I think you struggle with those odds as well. Well, we saw that yesterday, 12 v 10. The yeah, talk terrible. to me about that Newcastle game. Um, but I don't, it just angers me. Just like that angers you. That angers me. The fact It's the handball rule. I can't sit and look at the ref because the ref's gone with the rules. But firstly, he's not looking at the ball. Secondly, he's been pushed in the back. 
Thirdly, it's not even a free kick that, um, that leads to the penalty decision. Yeah, we just saw that. The list goes so on. The list goes. It just runs and headbutts them. The list goes on and on and on, and and it's going to end up. It's going to happen to every single team at some point in the league. Where it'll be someone else this weekend. It could be you lot the following weekend. It could be us again in three weeks' time. Who knows? And it's just ruining football. It's making everyone. Uh, it's just making me lose a little bit of interest every week. It's like, why? What's the point? I don't blame you. I remember seeing... The one thing I did see from that game was Jose's reaction when the penalty went in. He just walked, walked off. straight down the tunnel. Disgusted. And he's done that before in, in, in occasions, but you don't blame him on this time. No. Like, he's probably... Well, what was, is it? Is it unintentional and intentional handballs that count? Honestly, I don't even know anymore. I don't think anyone knows anymore. That's the problem. No one, no one knows anymore. And for, apparently they've said that if you're not looking at the ball and... And you've been, or you or you've been uh, pushed in the back, then it can't be a handball. It can't be given. It also doesn't lead to a goal. He's about 15 yards from from uh, the goal as well. Honestly, it angers me so much. We didn't deserve to draw that game. We th okay, we didn't take our chances, but how that was given as a penalty, and how Peter Banks, who is a Championship referee, is allowed to referee Tottenham Newcastle is beyond me. But we have to move on. Yeah, I hear that. Um, let's go through. I want to know who you think's going to play for tomorrow. At this rate, it could be the under 15s. Um, it will probably really be, we're going that deep. It could it, so Hung Min Son is injured. He, he he picked up an injury on Sunday. No surprise with our fixture schedule. Mm -hmm. Harry Kane's unlikely to play with with obviously some big games coming up because if we lose him and we've lost Son, I mean the season's over before. It's be, even I don't think he'll even touch the pitch tomorrow. So I don't think Harry Kane will be involved. It could be Joe Hart in goal, making his uh, domestic debut for Spurs. Same thing with Mendy. Um, and then the back four, Sergio Regulon could make his debut. A lot. Of, we're all really excited to see him. Best left back in the league. Not even going to say nothing. We wanted him to. He's quality left quality, back. Quality, quality left back. So he could make his debut tomorrow. He was on the bench uh, okay. yesterday. It's kind of mad that I'm saying he was on the bench yesterday. And we've got a game tomorrow. Um, <laughs> this whole this whole year has been mad though. It's just 2020. Exactly. So um, Matt Doherty likely to be rested ahead of a couple of big games this week. So Sergio Aurier will come back in. Who I don't think is a bad second option at all. Second think, option now. I think I think the problem last year was he was the only right back at the club, mm. and so therefore he basically played every week for for nine months. Yeah. So that was probably a problem. So the fact that he has to, he can come in tomorrow and sort of prove that he can be here and and, and get a place in the squad. Centre backs Alderweireld didn't play yesterday, so he's likely to play. Quality. Um, and it will probably be one of Sanchez or Dyer, but Tanganga could play as well. He hasn't played yet this season; just come back from injury. Good young centre half. Mm. Fresh off a new deal. Uh, and then moving into midfield, Jose seems to like the 4 3 3 now. Uh, Tongi and Dombele, who has been absolutely fantastic and starting to prove his worth, and give it a few weeks, he will end up being one of the best midfielders in the league. He is a generational talent. He is simply yeah. brilliant. Uh, he just needs up tomorrow. his fitness a little bit. He could play tomorrow. It's unlikely in the Celso to play. He got 80 minutes yesterday, so he won't play. Same with Hoybier playing 90 minutes and Harry Wink. So Sissoko could come back in. He didn't play yesterday. The likes of Jetson Fernandez. There's a whole list of players that could play. And in the forward, the problem is the front, uh, the front three. Deli Ali obviously not been in the squad recently, linked to the move away. He's likely to get minutes tomorrow to sort of prove himself. You think he's again. gone? If we can get honestly, if we get good money, a good offer, I don't, I don't see it being turned down. What's a good offer? For me, uh He's a, for me, he's a £60 million player at least. If you've got Harry Maguire going for £80 million, then Yeah, I'd £60 million is fair. And, and Ben Chilwell for £50 million, and Kai <laughs> Havertz. Yeah. If Kai Havertz is going for £90 million, or hey, whatever, no, sixty-two. Or whatever so it was you've taken off that deal. Whatever it was you've ended Marina, up paying. Whatever it is you've ended up paying. Dele Alli's numbers are better than every single one of these players. So Over the last few years, actually. Dele Alli, before he was... Havertz has been going, yeah. Dele Alli's numbers are... Are great. It's just his performances are inconsistent. So he's likely to play. Who knows who else is going to play? Ryan Sesson Young's in the frame. Stephen Bergvine likely. Lucas Moura. Eric Lamella is very likely to play. I think. And yeah. Up front. That I feels like a name I'd see. Bergvine, Lucas, Lamella, Delhi, Jack Clark could be involved. Um, but honestly, it, it, I have no idea who is going to play tomorrow because we have another game Thursday. So it's about who do you play? Okay, um, I would ask for a score prediction, but I think yours. But you're not confident. I said, I'm at the to, I case said where to Ben to win. I said to Ben before when when we were organising uh, today. I said we're likely to lose. I wouldn't be surprised if you came and just beat us three 0 and just got a couple of early goals and that was it. I wish we were there, man. I really wish that could have been such a an elite away day. No, I, honestly, I don't think a lot of Tottenham fans would have shown up tomorrow. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is where you see half empty white heart. Yeah, I could definitely it's see not, that. It's not. It's a fourth round League Cup game where we've got a massive game Thursday and a massive game Sunday, and we've just played on Sunday. Is, that, so, is the Maccabee game home or away? Um, Maccabi Haifa is at home on Thursday, so. Okay, yeah, you definitely. We don't have to travel to Israel, there. which is about a five-hour flight. So thankfully, we're here. Well, we had Maccabi, um, and we couldn't even bring fans. So, which is a shame because mm. it's a lovely place, but um, but. It's going to be tough. I'm not confident. What I would say is that like the pressure isn't really on us. With the the only thing I would say, the only reason I would say there is a bit of pressure on us is we're the home team. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it counts so much in this circumstance. And, so. um, it's just uh, for me. I just want to see a bit of a, a bit of fight from the players that, that are playing because it's their opportunity to say I'm. I want to play. I want to mm. be in this team. I want to play under Jose. Uh, and in recent weeks, the team have looked really good. I know we haven't had the result. Okay, I think Everton was a sort of a one-off, but if you watched us at Southampton, we were immense in that second half. They couldn't get near us. Yesterday, we were superb for 85 minutes um, until they brought Andy Carroll on and they just started lumping it up for handballs. Um, so I think we're we're looking really, really good and Jose's team is starting to come together. Obviously, Gareth Bale, probably the biggest and best signing this summer by any team, in my opinion, I think to bring someone into the team that's won four Champions Leagues, a few La Ligas, a few mm. Copa del Reyes and he's, I mean, we all know how good Gareth Baird is yeah so we've got a good squad and with a couple of players hopefully coming in we're linked with the likes of Skriniar and, and some strikers we could have a great squad and a great season but it's a shame that the that the scheduling has done this to us and it's likely that we won't get a result tomorrow but if we do that you'll never live it down for me if we if but, we do if you lot get a result we deserve every bit of stick we get everything it, I, I will think, hold it with my chest I think if the players that are playing tomorrow play well I think there's no reason why we can't at least put up a bit of a fight it, yeah I don't think it'll it be a, a walkover make it a difficult game as we, look, obviously you don't need me to tell you that you weren't great on Saturday no um, thank god we got a draw bro yeah I think you got away with that one at the end and, and VAR well, couldn't even put us down this time. Yeah, you certainly have weaknesses. That's what I oh, would yeah. say. Um, I don't think your defence has been sorted out. I think Thiago Silva, I said it when you bought him, I said he's not, if you want to Bro, bring... that was one mistake in a good game. I will be real. Not, Everyone's just, I've... it's like Gerard in that I know, slip. I know, a... but I called it when you signed him that he's not, You don't. if you want to sort your, back, your, your defence out, you don't sign someone who's turning 40 soon. It's just that simple. I... I know, we'll, we'll go on to soft camera because this will go on for another five minutes. <laughs> but I promise you, Thiago Silva is the same defender. But well, as, as someone that had a poor defensive record at Paris Saint Germain, who Thiago Silva? Bro, you gotta show me the stats then because every single PSG fan I've spoken to has been. Oh like, yeah, because when they're playing, when they're playing Lorient away, it's, he's really up against it, isn't it? Okay, okay, we can do. He couldn't the... even handle Callum Robinson. What? He couldn't even have. If it was one Robinson. mistake in a good performance, if he had like a disaster, I just class. think that you've got. If you had them all, the, well, you do have all of this money to spend, and if you're going to spend it, I at least think you should have gone out and got a pro, You know, like like Man City have done on Ruben Diaz. I think you should have done that. Me, it was obvious that you needed a, a massive improvement at the back. Me, I was the other way around. I was like, bro, Jano Black has a 120 million release clause. Activate it, because that guy wins you more points than a banging defender does. Because you, I've always said, look at the Harris United. Well, you look at Liverpool, Van Dijk and Allison. They spent what seventy million on Van Dijk and then eighty million on Allison. Why? Yeah, we missed out what on Allison. What you should have done is maybe gone and got, got Jan or Black and, and Ruben Diaz or something like something or something along those lines. And that's the end of the video for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. Your social media links will be down in the description below. Don't forget to check out We Are Tottenham TV, Sam, if you want to plug your socials yeah. as well. Uh, like I said at the beginning, We Are Tottenham TV, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, help us get to 100k as well if you're if, you, if by some miracle you're a Spurs fan watching this channel. Uh, and yeah, come on you Spurs. Yeah, check out the video and we'll see you guys after the game for a review. Up the Chelsea. Literally, there's a point for no reason.